Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. Welcome to my garden once again. So I've got something interesting here for you today. Imagine if the cookery, which is something that I've spoken about a lot in the past, and um, I have a, a fair-sized collection of original cookeries myself, so I'm fairly familiar with these as objects. I've used them for test cutting, I've used them as tools, and I've used them uh, largely as just collector's items as well, but I'm familiar with antique ones and more recent ones. Um, and these are very, very iconic and um, respected weapons and tools. But imagine if you could combine a cookery with an axe, okay? So what I've got here is something, uh, it's made by Condor in El Salvador. And it is um, essentially a uh, kind of a, a tomahawk, um, and it is a both a tool potentially um, and a weapon if you need it to be. Um, and these are obviously very effective tools. This isn't the kind of axe that you'd necessarily choose to chop down a tree with, but this is the kind of woodsman's tool that you can carry on your belt very, very easily anywhere. Um, and you could use it for chopping down a tree. I have in fact chopped down a tree with this, just for the hell of it. Uh, the tree needed chopping down, <laughs> it wasn't just for fun. Um, but I decided to use this and it can do the job. But equally, this is a, a fairly quick, nimble, light thing that you can carry on your belt. You could use it as a weapon, you could throw it, um, and you could use it as a, a woodcraft tool as well. And imagine if you could combine some of the uh, benefits of a cookery with some of the benefits of an axe. And that's what we've got here. Or at least that's what this, uh, the idea behind this is. And this is the Kukrax. I'm going to bring you, I'll get rid of the sheath just to show it does come with a leather sheath. Um, so this is something that's been developed over the, the last um, year. Now I'll bring it closer to the camera for you. So the Kukrax, we'll have a, look, a bit more at the um, shape of it in a second. But as you can see, it is a um, all metal construction with grip scales added. Okay, so it should be unbreakable, indestructible. You'll notice it's got some paracord added up here. That's if you want to hold it up here for, for example, shaving off um, to make uh, kindling or something like that, or other types of fine crafts. So you can use it kind of like a knife. Um, and it's got grip scales. I believe these are made of walnut or some other kind of um, South American wood. Um, and um, it's got lanyard rings in here, three different uh, points. They act as rivets through as well, but they are um, holes. So you can um, go through there with a paracord or whatever you want for whatever reason you want, either to add a lanyard or to add wrapping around the grip. Now let's have a look at the shape of this for a second. So obviously, this is a very different shape to the traditional um, hatchet or axe. And I'll talk a bit more about that in a second. There is an obvious size disparity between these two things as well. This is only the size of really a cleaver, um, so it is very small for an axe. Okay, and that does obviously affect slightly what you can do with it. It is, however, roughly the same size. It's actually a little bit shorter than the cookery. But you'll notice that the curve, the curvature, um, is very, very similar. It's essentially, a, a cr it's got a crooked, um, a, a bend at the middle of the blade, or middle of the lever, should we say. Um, and the shape is very much emulating that of the cookery, but of course it places the edge forwards of the cookery. So in some ways this is more like a cookery than an axe, despite the fact that it's got an axe blade on it. I'll just show you incidentally, it's got the uh, logo on there for the um, cook racks, which you can see. Um, and it's very nicely made, it's nice uh, production quality. Um, it's got this um, coated blade, black coated blade, so you don't have to worry about um, corrosion on the surface or even scratching or things like that. It's got this kind of tactical look, uh, but that does also serve the, the function of um, protecting it. Um, the edges, as it were, or the edges of the, um, the bar are exposed um, steel, so you can see the steel in there, and it is a full width and full length tang with the grip scales riveted to it. So it seems like a pretty much indestructible object. Now, um, in terms of handling, 
The kukri is more nimble, okay? The kukri is a lighter object. There is more metal in the kukrax than there is in the kukri. The kukri also as a fighting object has the advantage of having a point up here. Okay, so you can thrust with a cookery if you want to, although they're not predominantly used like that. It is predominantly a cleaving weapon, slashing weapon, uh, but you could thrust with it if you want to. You could technically, I suppose, thrust with the cook racks. And being that it's smaller than most axes, it is of course easier to carry. If you loop that through your belt, it is going to be a significantly smaller object. As we see, it's the same size as a cookery compared to a more traditional um, hatchet or axe. Now in terms of how this works we're going to have a little look, I'm going to experiment on some wood, I've got a large log pile over there, um, so we're going to have a look at that in a minute. But in terms of the physics and the leverage, so a traditional axe, uh, although they can have slightly curved shafts on them, a traditional axe usually is more or less a straight lever in which the cutting edge is placed forward of the lever of um, moment, of, of motion. Okay, So the rotational um, movement is in this line and the cutting edge is set ahead of that. Um, that does mean that the axe cuts quite powerfully um, and cuts with a lot of authority compared to something like a sword or a knife. Um, in some ways this has been likened to the way that the cookery blade is shaped because the cookery again if this is the line of if you look at the line of the grip and follows up here that would be the where you expect impact and the, the impact point the edge is ahead of that there is another benefit of the cookery as well, as well as being almost axe-like in terms of the point of impact being in front of the line of motion. It also has an angle on it, so when you strike something it is at roughly a 45 degree angle to what you would expect um, the edge to be impacting. And with a traditional axe, and this is not true of all axes, you do find exceptions to this. Uh, certain types of Dane axe, for example, have angled heads, certain types of halberd have angled heads, although that's probably for a slightly different reason, to do with the angulation of the length of the shaft being swung. But that's another topic. Um, but with a conventional axe, you're hitting at 90 degrees perpendicular here and having a splitting effect. With a um, cookery, however, you're hitting at a 45 degree. And what this has the benefit of doing is it opens up a longer uh, wound, if you're using it as a weapon, of course. Um, but in terms of just purely chopping, it means that hitting at 45 degrees instead of 90 degrees, it means that whatever your edge angle is, it essentially halves that. So it's as if you're chopping with, a, with an edge which has a narrower edge profile or edge geometry than what it actually does. It's a bit like walking diagonally up a hill instead of straight up a hill. Um, so you're essentially reducing friction as you pass through the object. Now the cook racks is a curious situation because what the cook racks has done is it's introduced that 45 degree angle but to an axe blade which, I must admit, I don't yet know what the results will yield, what they'll be. Um, because essentially this has turned what's normally a splitting blade that you would find on a conventional axe, it's turned a splitting blade, but it's at a slashing angle. Um, and I don't know if that's advantageous or not. We're maybe going to find out or get a sense. This is only obviously subjective and this is based on my first um, impressions of using this thing. One thing that we um, have to add to this though is that with a longer lever, so we're going to talk about the, the, um, the fact that the lever is bent in this case and the fact that it's a short lever. So first of all with a longer lever as we've got with this conventional tomahawk it does mean that the end of the lever is travelling faster at higher velocity compared to the rotational uh, the number of degrees and the speed that I'm turning my wrist through. So clearly the longer the lever the faster the end of that lever will be moving and with an axe we do hit with the end of the lever we hit with the axe head so it does mean that by this rotational movement of roughly 180 degrees 
I'm getting 180 degrees of motion with that top as well and being that it is further from my hand we're getting a lot of acceleration and a lot of speed in the tip. With the uh, cook racks we are starting, we're not starting as far back and we're hitting uh, the thing that we're hitting at sooner. So we're moving, the top of the um, item is both moving through a shorter distance essentially, um, but it's because the thing we're hitting is not there, it's there. Okay, so I'm not moving through the full 180 degrees, I'm only moving through, I'm guessing here, but about 120 degrees. So I'm moving the uh, angle is moving through fewer degrees to hit the object I'm chopping but in addition to that it is a shorter lever and therefore the tip is traveling at slower speed. So we do have two on paper two distinct disadvantages there. The, the head is moving through fewer degrees um, of ang through a smaller angle and equally it's shorter so it's not as accelerated by leverage as the longer axe is. But we have to accept this is a shorter cleaver type thing. If we, <coughs> if we made the lever as long as that, then it would have the same uh, acceleration advantages as the longer lever. So this is purely a length comparison. The longer lever accelerates the tip more. Conversely, the advantage is that when I'm swinging the axe one-handed, it does mean that when I hit the object, my, my wrist and my hand and is extended quite out, so the lever comes almost in line with my forearm, okay, which um, means that I'm moving through a greater motion, um, which means I'm getting more acceleration in the object but it can be less comfortable. One of the advantages of the cook racks is at the point of impact, I've still got quite a nice um, angle here between the lever and the hand and the forearm because of course the lever is bent and then you've got the axe blade coming forward, meaning I'm hitting the object sooner. That's connected to the fact that there is less angle, less motion uh, the head is traveling through fewer degrees and f shorter distance. Um, so we've got a plus and a minus there. Potentially we've got less cleaving force, but potentially it's more comfortable for my arm. Right, let's have a little look about how these two things perform actually on a piece of wood. And I'll give my first impressions of how it feels to use each of them. Okay, so I've got a random piece of wood out of my uh, log pile. We had to have a couple of trees taken down um, after some storms not that long ago. Um, so we've got plenty of wood. <laughs> um, now, first of all, with the conventional axe, now I point out this is not to demonstrate uh, any particular fantastic technique or I'm not looking to chop through an enormous amount of wood. I'm just really more subtly looking at the feeling I get um, from the amount of energy I put in versus the amount of result I get out. So with the conventional axe, I'm going to start down here. Notice I'm not holding it at the end. And indeed, lots of people when they're using hatchets do hold them a bit further up than the bottom of the uh, grip to give a little bit of better balance and a little bit of security in case the hand slides down so it doesn't come off the end. This is a very different grip obviously to that featured on the cook racks. One disadvantage of this kind of grip that we see on these types of hatchets uh, is that you don't have much choice about where you put the hand. Um, you pretty much got to put it on the grip. You can't choke up very easily. Obviously we've seen you've got the paracord up here but it wouldn't be very comfortable for example for me to hold it there but equally I'd have almost no cleaving power if I held it that high up. Obviously I can't hold it further away, but this is a more secure handle because of the shape of it. Right, we'll come back to the cook racks in a second. So holding the hatchet, okay, so obviously we're coming down at a diagonal angle into the wood, making sure I'm chopping away from myself. I know pretty much what this axe does and can do because I've used it a fair amount. Thank you. 
One important thing to say that I particularly like about this uh, tomahawk or hatchet is that it has an oval shaft so the, um, it doesn't turn in the hand. That is also true of the um, cook racks. Um, the way that it's shaped, um, particularly the bevels it's got on the back of the grip, make it sit in the hand very securely and I've got to say I really like the grip on this. One thing I would say um, is with a straight lever it tends not to turn very much anyway although you do have an asymmetry here you have a weight sticking out in front so there is a slight tendency for when you start to move the object the inertia makes that object want to swing to the rear that can be accentuated when you have a bent shaft like this and theoretically the thing might want to do that when you swing it however i have to say the grip is so secure that that doesn't seem to be an issue with the cook racks. So I just chop a little bit more with this conventional So um, there we go, you know, that's, I know I've probably got about halfway through that wood already. I know pretty much what this does. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip around that wood. Um, I'll probably be cutting a little bit higher just because of the shape of the wood. Maybe, maybe I'll cut a bit lower actually. Um, so they're not exactly uh, opposite each other. I'm not going to cut through the wood. Um, and let's have a little go with the cook racks. So same thing, shorter object, very different shape. Let's see how it does. I've got to say, that is actually cutting far more effectively and far deeper than I imagined it would. It's very comfortable to hold, very secure in the hand, it doesn't turn at all and it's really cleaving very effectively into this wood. Um, I'll be completely honest here, I expected this to perform worse than the conventional axe, uh, but it is I would say it's performing as well, at least, if not better. Let's carry on and do a bit more. Wow. I'm just going to show you this wood for a second because I'm actually really, really stunned by this. So, first of all, here is what I was cutting with the conventional um, hatchet or tomahawk. On that side and here is what I did in a very few swings with the cook racks. Um, uh, uh, I'm genuinely a bit stunned. Um, uh, I don't quite know why that performs as well as it does for such a short length. I'm actually going to do, just in case that's for some reason a softer bit of wood, um, I'm going to chop a different part of it. Um, let's let's do it up here. I'm genuinely gobsmacked. Um, there's no question that this performs better than this. Um, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's not particularly sharp as it came to me. I'm, I'm not, that doesn't, that's not going to cut me. Uh, it's a fine edge, but it's not a, it's not an edge that's going to cut my hand at all. It is a shorter object. It's got a very good grip on it, and I think the security of my hand on the grip certainly makes a difference, but for its size, I want to cut some more.
Well, I'm truly, truly gobsmacked. It cuts amazingly. <laughs> um, I'm actually somewhat speechless here, and as you guys know, if you watch my channel regularly, you'll know that that doesn't happen very often. This Kukrax actually cuts amazingly well. And when you consider that it's even shorter than a Kukri, it's about the same size as a Kukri, but a little bit shorter than a typical 12 inch blade Kukri. It's significantly shorter than the Tomahawk. It's got shorter reach. I mean, if we were talking about it as a weapon, it has some disadvantages. But as a wood chopping implement, I'm, I'm just a bit gobsmacked. And what's bizarre is it is such a joy to hold. It provides such a secure grip um, that I don't feel a need to move my hand to different places on it. And it doesn't turn at all in the hand. It's nicely balanced. It's actually so nice to use it's making me want to chop more and more wood. I'm gobsmacked. So the cook racks. Um, I'll put more information below this video. Go and have a look at that. And I'm quite amazed by this. Um, this is quite revolutionary, I've got to say, and I'm going to be trying out some more with this. Um, what I can't get my head around is that no one, as far as I know, has made anything like this before. And I genuinely i am completely converted to the idea of it. It actually works really, really well and is a pleasure to use. Some more information below here. Uh, give the channel a subscribe and a like, as always, as you should. If you're not subscribed, why not? Please do. There are other links below to our Facebook, Twitter, so on and so forth, um, Patreon. But check out the cook racks and look out for this because I think you're going to be seeing some more of these around really, really soon. I am stunned. Hey folks, so um, I chopped some more wood after filming what I filmed outside because as you saw, I was so gobsmacked by the performance of this little thing that I wanted to chop some more stuff off camera and get, um, get to grips with it and get a better handle of it, get a, you know more rounded objective opinions. Um, so I'm going to just sum up here. Um, I was clearly very surprised by how well this performed. On paper, and according to the physics as I understood it, although they are obviously complex, um, I expected this to perform better than this, but for this to do okay for its size. What I actually found is without a shadow of a doubt, the Kukraks outperformed this Tomahawk. Now, there are several reasons why that might be, and I have to be honest that the edge geometry of the Kukraks is better than this particular Tomahawk. This has quite a uh, fat um, reinforced um, wood splitting apple seed, like giant apple seed type edge. I have sharpened it myself though, however, and it has got a fairly decent edge on it, and I have chopped down quite a few things with this. So it is not blunt by any means, but the edge geometry on this are not as good as the Kukrak's edge, and the Kukrak's edge is a straight, one straight bevel. Okay, so it's got a very good edge on it. The other thing that has to be said as well is the Kukrax, despite the fact it is a shorter tool as a hull, actually has a fairly big blade. It's got a blade as big, frankly, as some medieval fighting axes, but it's in a very short object. But that's not to diminish, the, the, the deficiencies of this is not to diminish the achievements of the Kukrax. Um, in terms of the production quality, the edge is perfect. It's not changed or deformed or anything in any form. Um, it's from a good manufacturer with good heat treatment and good steel. The grips are still perfectly 100% secure. There's no vibrations, there's nothing loose or anything like that. It performed outstandingly. Um, and I will be valuing this as a tool. Uh, when I next come down to chop down a small tree like I had to recently, and I want to use an ax, I'll go straight to this, to be honest. So um, 
really those are my objective opinions that you know I, I don't want you to think that this is magic but there is something about the physics and there is something about the form of this that means that it performs much more potently than its size would suggest and I've never really seen a fully, despite the fact that I've talked about it in my videos and tried to explain as best that I can, I've never seen a fully convincing argument for why the cookery cuts as well as it does. It just kind of does. And it seems that the cookery just kind of does as well. And I'm not exactly sure why, but it does. And I've demonstrated that, I hope. Anyway, go, go and check that out. And... Um, the cook racks. You might be seeing this in some more videos. Maybe I'll consider it as a fighting implement. It does have some parallels with certain Native American fighting clubs in terms of its shape and things like this. So, uh, very interesting object. And um, keep an eye on these cook racks because I think you're going to see them around a bit more. Cheers, folks. Thanks for watching. We've got extra videos on Patreon. Please give our Facebook a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, folks.